Hey, how you doing? It's Rob Nolan here, author of the best-selling Gypsy Jazz songbook series and creator of Transfusion and Fast Track. These courses and uh, books have literally taught thousands of guys and girls all around the planet how to play Gypsy Jazz and also how to have fun with doing that. And in this series of videos, I'm answering your questions. And I've got a question from David, uh, who's from Springfield in the States. And he's asking a very popular question, which is, please give me some soloing tips. You know, how do I start soloing? And this is, uh, this is a big question, but let me just uh, show you a couple of ways where you could start today soloing. So without getting too intimidated by the whole thing, some actual workable things you can do to start soloing. One of them is um, uh, actually just kind of embellishing the melody. And assuming you've just learned the chords and you've learned the tune, let's say something like all of me um, in the key of C. Right, there's the beginning of the melody. Um, if you haven't learned that tune already, that's a really good one to learn, a really popular tune in the genre and um, it's really swinging. So one way of looking at improvising before even thinking about licks, arpeggios, uh, scales, modes, uh, all that stuff, um, is actually to look at the melody itself and Assuming you've learned the, the, the tune, then you can start there. So you've got the first three notes of the tune, right? So C, G, E. So, you know, when you're playing the tune, you can go. So that's over the C chord. So one way you could start to, you know, and you should do this, you know, with a backing tape or even just kind of with a metronome, just kind of tick, tick tocking and just imagine a C chord playing. And you're going to basically going to try and start to be a little bit playful and creative with those three notes, okay? And then you're going to start to add other ones. So you've got... Okay, so there you go. So you've got... So basically, these are notes from the C major scale. These are all the, the perfect notes which are going to sound uh, totally fine over these changes. So over the C... So then the, the trick is to um, be playful with that melody. So the rhythm is just like, so you might go. Like, something like that, you know, that was nice. Uh, you know, so basically as you're going along, um, practicing and experimenting with this, you'll come across ideas which you hear and you like. So the idea then is to kind of, you know, keep, retain them, remember those uh, things which sound nice and the notes which sound nice. And, uh, and then just, you know, all the ones that don't sound nice, you just forget them and you keep searching for, for, for really, really cool things. So, so just even just going over the C major chord, you could just kind of go like, So that's just, you know, this is really simple, simplistic and uh, that's just looking at the first chord. The next step is to, uh, when it goes to the E7, uh, you've got the E7. So then what I would do is uh, if I was learning a new tune and learning how to improvise over a new tune, I would just loop the C going like, then two bars of E7, then two bars of C. So you just kind of gate that little bit of the tune, those those two changes, and then just explore how you can get through it. And like I said, we're gonna we're gonna try and do that by kind of being playful with the melody. Okay, so I'll just loop two bars of C major and two bars of E seven. It's gonna sound like this: two, three, four. that even if you do that for 10 minutes because you know I've had a guy had a good friend of me uh, ask me you know and he's, he's accomplished accomplished musician accomplished player he was like I said let's play all of me because he was asking look I'm just kind of struggling with kind of 
getting in the cracks of these changes, you know, playing over all of me, he said. So I said, well, let's just hear what, hear what you're playing. So we played all of me. And I, after the second chord, after the seven, I just said, stop, you know, stop. You, you're not actually, you know, and he knows a lot of stuff, but I said, you're not actually understanding what's happening there. You've got all C major, uh, C, sorry, and then you've got E7. You know, for God's sake, make sure you get that G sharp. You know, if you're playing the G in C, move it to G sharp for E7, all right? So these are the these are the notes, the, the rock solid foundation notes, which then you can build build from before you get fancy or anything. Understand that C E7 again C then up to D for the E7 and it's it's worth kind of step like like I'm often teaching is take a step back and cons consolidate on what you've got you know and really try to uh, make a solid because as soon as you start kind of you know half fluffing it over all of me half doing it over this tune half over that not really understanding then it's not really going to get any better and you just it's just going to sound like washed out if you can really get in the cracks of the changes, find the good notes, uh, be playful with the tune, um, and carry on like that, then that's how you're going to really, you know, start to sound. That's that's a soloing tip for you right there, you know. So, um, thanks for the question. Um, I could go on for hours, and uh, in some of my courses, I do, you know. But for now, uh, just be playful with the melody, look for the good notes, you know, hone it into the first two chords of the tune, and once you got those two, add the next chord and keep looping that. It's a really good idea with the metronome. Um, anyway, thanks for that question, and uh, David. And uh, if you've got a question yourself, then be sure to fire away. You know, I'm here for you, and I'd love to hear your question. Um, also, if you haven't checked out Gypsy Jazz Secrets, then go to gypsyjazzsecrets.com, download the app, get your iPad out or your Android device or your iPhone and check out this magazine. It's rocking, or should I say swinging. It's got tons of gypsy jazz performances and lessons every month. So thanks for watching the video and I'm going to see you really soon.